what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here from Marty Music with another great countdown. As always, a huge thanks for the continued support. Couldn't do it without you. We talk a lot about guitar players on this show, but the unsung hero of many of our favorite rock bands is the bass player. Since the beginning of rock music, the bassist has played a vital role as the tonal glue of sorts for a band. Adding proverbial meat to the rhythm section along with complementing the melodies played by the lead guitar. So it's high time we spend a moment to honor some of the greatest bassists in rock and roll. Let's a slap of the bass, man. Bootsy Collins. We can't talk about bass without honoring the genre that lives and breathes bass guitar, funk. And there's no better ambassador to funk music than Bootsy Collins. This world-renowned bassist is so much more than just crazy outfits and giant sunglasses. He was one of the first bassists to put the instrument front and center, basically turning the bass guitar into a star, both figuratively and literally. Cliff Burton. Metallica is one of the groups that brought metal into the mainstream. And the band's bassist Cliff Burton certainly did his fair share to assist in that effort. Cliff's untimely death tragically cut his tenure with the band short, and many diehard Metallica fans claim they never rocked as hard again. Getty Lee. Getty Lee's musical abilities single-handedly allowed Rush to remain a trio. The other members of the band get a lot of credit for being flawless in their disciplines, and rightly so, but the fact that Lee manages to play keys, fill the role of frontman and lead singer, all while being the band's accomplished bass player, proves that he might not be an actual human. Victor Wooten. Victor made a name for himself as the bassist for Bela Fleck and the Flectos. His funky, jazz-infused style is reminiscent of the late Jaco Pastorius. Wooten's incredible technical prowess also landed him some guest spots with the Dave Matthews Band. His numerous solos in the Dave Matthews Band song number 41 constantly blow my mind. Jaco Pastorius. The late, great Jaco Pastorius is responsible for so much more than simply inspiring Victor Wooten. He's a legend of jazz fusion, and despite not being a household name, he was one of the most sought-after session bassists throughout the 70s. And if we were judging all these musicians just by technical prowess alone, Pastorius would undoubtedly be at the top of our list. Jack Bruce. Now you'd think that being in a group with Eric Clapton and Ginger Baker would make it difficult to find room to shine. But that wasn't the case for Cream's bassist Jack Bruce. Bruce had made such an impression of Clapton before the formation of this supergroup that he would only agree to be in Ginger Baker's new band if Bruce was the band's bassist, which is saying something. Flea. The Red Hot Chili Peppers achieved notoriety by combining funk music with punk rock. This surprisingly winning combination mirrored his evolution as a bassist almost perfectly. Flea started out in the punk scene, but after some inspiration from funk legend Bootsy Collins, see the beginning of this video for more information on Bootsy, Flea added a slap technique and the rest is history. John Paul Jones. As arguably the most influential band in rock history, it's hard to ignore the individual accomplishments of Led Zeppelin's band members. And John Paul Jones is no exception. The notable multi-instrumentalist can shred on basically anything you put in front of him. Yeah, I could start rounding off hit after Led Zeppelin hit that includes his amazing bass lines, but the one that stands out to me is Ramble On. It's melodic, tasty, and expertly rides the extreme dynamics of the song with ease. John Entwistle. Now you don't get nicknames like The Ox and Thunderfingers by being a mediocre bassist. John's background in piano caused him to play the bass like a lead instrument, and occasionally his playing overshadowed the lead guitar stylings of the Who guitarist Pete Townsend. If for some reason you don't believe me, just check out those little turnarounds in my generation, then tell me I'm wrong. Sir Paul McCartney. The amount of attention Paul gets for amazing songwriting often clouds his prowess as a bass player. Paul's abilities may not reach the levels of some of the other musicians on our list here, but his rich melodic lines and near flawless bass performances throughout his storied career solidify him as one of the greatest bassists who's ever lived. I'm sure there's some bassists he left off the list. Let us know in the comments below, and also please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, you guys.